Hey guys, so today's video is a mini tea of things happening on the internet. So social media will be in description. Subscribe with that bell and make sure to like and comment for engagement. I'll see, you know, how we're doing in past videos. Uh, Cause I feel like whenever I mention it, you guys really do well with the likes and the comments. So let's just like and comment for engagement because recommendations on YouTube have been a little bit messed up now. Like I'll go on my recommended and for some reason there'll be like videos from seven years ago being recommended. It's like, no YouTube, I kind of want to watch stuff that's coming out now. Like maybe possibly stuff that's kind of more recent than seven years ago. Okay, so maybe let's just do the engagement thing and make sure other people are actually seeing my videos for the recent drama. So let's get into it. There's this TikToker called Renata and her name's definitely pronounced differently. And I feel like being Eastern European, I should be pronouncing it correctly, but it just feels like if I speak English, I need to also say it with an English accent, you know? Anyway, so she's a TikToker who is... And I hate to do this because I hate to minimize someone's career down to like one characteristic, but she's definitely famous and successful because she's stunning. Like, let's just put it that way. She just films those TikToks where she just stands there looking really pretty and like, look, good for her. Amazing for her, actually. She is a model and she basically just like thrives on the looking pretty thing. And like, I hate to minimize her down to that characteristic, but she basically is just one of those that she just looks stunning and everyone loves her because she looks stunning. And like, I love that for her. I absolutely love that for her. She's actually from Russia as well and she recently moved to LA. She's allegedly mingling with the hype house. She's recently in a Bryce Hall video. She's like apparently being hit on by Vinnie Hacker and all the people are really angry about it because we know about Vinnie Hacker's stands now. We've like been made aware. She's got millions of followers. She's on about just under 5 million followers on TikTok. She's doing great. However, there are some old clips and pictures resurfacing and she got cancelled. Don't know how that's gonna go for her from this point onwards because no one seems to be cancelled on TikTok. You know, we have people like, what's her name? Why can't I? It's at the edge of my tongue. Um, what is her name? This one? Her? She was kissing a 13 year old and now she's fine. So she still has a career. This one, this one right here, accused of messaging and sleeping with underage girls fine completely fine he's doing fine his career is not dwindling at all he's doing amazingly well actually um so tiktok seems to be one of those places where like everyone's upset about everything and then actually no one's upset about anything because no one actually gets cancelled for the like valid things so she actually had this interview that was like the first thing that the catalyst for everything going on was this interview and there are so many clips from that interview and the interviewer was actually not having any of it like she was very much like oh that's a bit why would you say that why would you say that? Why would you say that? And Renata was like the only one laughing the whole time. So she made this comment about how she went away and she hadn't slept around with anyone because she was surrounded by, and this was translated in Russian as ugly black men. And she was just not willing to sleep with any of them. But actually what ended up happening is some Russian people came in and translated it further for us and said that she actually had used the slur, but just in Russian for black men. So she was like, I hadn't slept around in a while because there were nothing but slur for black men over there. Now, before people from Russia had translated this for us, she actually went on her Instagram and posted this like little statement. I'm not going to read the whole thing out for you guys, but she said, she said, this was like taken out of context and like the translation for Russian is not correct. Yeah, it wasn't correct because it was actually way worse. And she's really heavily tried to downplay this thing. Turns out, Sis was using slurs the whole time. Uh, is there anyone normal on the internet? I just want to know, is there anyone that's just like normal? Just like not throwing slurs around, not doing that whole thing. I don't know. And this isn't even like, not that that's an excuse. It's not even like a really old interview where she's like 11 and like completely unaware of what the slur means. No, she couldn't even use that excuse. Because she was, this was recent. This was like her being an adult, just being like, his me throwing slurs around then in that same interview she actually fat shames people and she fat shames people in many different tiktoks and this isn't the first time that she fat shames someone there are other tiktoks and other youtube videos where she's like calling people fat essentially there are these two outfits which people are saying is cultural appropriation and then we have her lying about her age so she was actually about 14 saying that she was way older than she is
And then she posted another um, TikTok apology video. Hello everyone. So first I want to say that I'm not speaking English well and I'm translating this and I'm reading this in my notes so I don't say anything wrong or forget anything. I've seen the video going around and I wanted to make it clear that I didn't say the N word. When I say the translation was wrong, I meant the clip going around was taken out of context, not that translation itself was wrong. I'm still working for my English, so it's difficult for me to say what I'm thinking. I'm sorry for what I say and there is no excuse for it. I was being very sarcastic in this interview and I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings or I fade anyone. I should not have said this and I understand that it was wrong and I'm sorry to anyone I hurt. I know how it feels to be hated for my nationality and I would never be racist towards anyone. My family is Tatar and I grew up in Russia. I was bullying because of this and I moved to the USA to get away from the racism and homophobia in Russia. There's also a few things I wanted to clear up as well. I'm 18 and I don't know why people think that I'm 23. There's photos of me wearing a headpiece and wearing a traditional dress. In Russia, we weren't educated on cultural appropriation. My friends are teaching me about this now because I didn't know what it was. Again, I'm sorry to anyone I hurt by wearing this, it was not my intention. I know I have made mistakes in my life and I apologize for those and I'm working every day to grow and to be a better person. And thank you for your time to listen and I'm sorry to anyone I hurt. And now she's just back to posting on TikTok like nothing happened, just posing and looking pretty and everyone's just, you know, eating it up. Yeah, like her comments are still like, oh my god, are you ever going to address this? But her videos are still getting the same amount of views and likes so clearly nothing's going on actually nothing's happening but that's that on that then we have tana mojo who uh recently dragged carly from too hot to handle and basically apparently carly was super mean about tana so tana was seeing someone that carly had been seeing and carly found out about it because tana and him went out to eat and apparently carly messaged him and said why are you hanging out with trash like why is that going on and tana mojo basically said yeah that carly was just being super mean to tana mojo uh to give you guys a little backstory um like two podcasts ago we told that story about the girl who like got at your man, told you she blocked him, went to him, talked about you to him. Um, and then everyone thought it was Alyssa Violet and it wasn't. And then we still never said who it was. And then on last week's podcast, we went into a long conversation uh, about how I will distance myself from a girl and not become close with her if I think that I might want her man in the future. Uh, and that was also about her, same girl. Um, newsflash, it's Carly Lawrence from Too Hot to Handle. <laughs> And so uh, <laughs> I'd already been texting her man. He was her ex-man. Yeah, you I, really got ahead of it. Her ex-man. Um, they're broken up. He comes out to L.A. We hang out. And um, him and I show up to the club and she texts him like, what the f are you doing with her? Like, she's trash. Da -da 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 -da. And I like see it on his phone. She texted him that? Yes. So then she goes on her podcast. She's like talking sh about me and you around LA. But then another piece of drama, The Reality House, uh, the TV show actually came out, TV show. Uh, basically it's on YouTube, but it's produced the way like a Netflix show to be produced. So people are actually saying that the uh, production value from season one to season three is humongous. So season one was like YouTube show. This is like, it could be on Netflix. Anyway, so they were super excited about having Tana on. They've wanted Tana Mojo on for ages now. Um, and they finally got her on and episode one, Task one, they have to do rock. I had this like one piece of hair here. It just looked like I was like picking at air. No, it was like tickling my eyes. The first task is rock climbing. And Tana Mojo goes, I'm not going to do it. It's a beautiful wall. Like when I look at it, it's a beautiful wall. Like whoever built that structure, so gorgeous. Peter from Too Hot to Handle and Bryce are going to take shots and jack off and use their muscles to climb it. But I don't think I have that in me. I, I really like my nails. All right, everybody. Stand up. Well, all right, Tana, you got this. You got this. K&J, I love you so much, and it's been a pleasure being you here. You got this, Tana. No, I'm not doing it. All you have to do is try. My nails were like $500 yesterday. I'm not doing it. I don't know, man. Looks cute, but I don't think it's me. Like we're all ball. rooting for you, Tana. Oh, no, I appreciate it. We're Stay Team gorgeous. Tana on God. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> wow, no, style. Bryce, Guys, I'll pose by it. You're like, really not going to do it. I don't do things like Decide. this. I love you, and I love money, and I, lo I love you. Try. They're going to all miss you. I'm going to miss you guys so much. Yeah, You're amazing really humans. Because I just got my nails done, and they cost me $500, and I got them done yesterday, and I'm not rock climbing. JC and Kian pull her aside, and they're like, hey, like, 
you knew what you were signing up for when you came here. And she was like, no, I actually had no idea. I had no idea what I was signing up for. I didn't think it'd be this physical. People are thinking if she forfeit this challenge, is she going to get kicked out? However, in the promo for Reality House, there are some other clips of her in different outfits than what was shown in this episode. So clearly she's sticking around for a while. And JC and Kian say they have some kind of a surprise for this um, season. So there could be like a, I don't know, there's like more challenges. She's not going to get eliminated. Essentially, people are saying they've been so excited about having Tana on that they would not kick her out. Because she's definitely bringing in the value. The, the two only famous people in this season are Bryce and Tana. So they're definitely bringing in the views and the clickbait and the drama. Uh, because everyone else is like much smaller than them. So quite clearly they need her around. So I'm assuming they're going to keep her on. Even if she's acting like a diva. So that's that for Tana Mojo. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Anything in the comment down below. And subscribe to post videos every time something happens. So hit that bell. You'll be notified when that's happening. Social media links and the links in the description. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.